So as we close in on the NVIDIA Turing launch date that we had talked about in our exclusive somewhere around a month ago, the NVIDIA chips in question are starting to pop up in diagnostic tools like HWinfo64. The interesting thing, however, is that these chips are codenamed GV104 and GV102 in contrast with what we expect Turing architecture to be named. Now, before we go any further, if you want to see the full changelog, hit the link down in the description and you can see the whole thing listed out over on the article. So the changelog includes quite a few interesting changes. First of all, it confirms our exclusive on the Core i9-9900K and the Z390 platform, confirming that the chipset is coming very soon, and secondly, but more interestingly, it lists the GV102 and GV104 chips as the upcoming cards from NVIDIA. So GV is the prefix for the Volta series, but this is something that has an easy explanation. So companies can easily issue inaccurate names against machine IDs for the purpose of obscurity. We've seen this before in the days when shipping manifests were still public. Anybody remember Zalba? Hmm? Yeah. This was when Nvidia started hiding the names of their upcoming graphics cards, and we're probably seeing it again now. If this actually is or was Volta, or a lighter version thereof, a more accurate naming scheme would have been GV204 and GV202. So we've covered a few leaks and rumors regarding the upcoming series, and everything does point to the company launching their card by early September. But meanwhile, we've heard absolutely nothing of a similar nature from AMD and Navi continues to be MIA. The only question that remains to be answered now is the pricing of the cards. The rumors indicate that the cards will probably have a higher MSRP than usual, and since this is the only way Nvidia can maintain its revenue stream with the backdrop of the stagnant crypto market. So it's interesting to see when a change log reveals something, well, significant like this. But we'd love to hear your thoughts down below, especially around the MSRP. Are you expecting higher? Do you think it's okay that it's higher? Should you pay more for more performance, or should you stay about the same pay and or same cost rather and get better performance in that bracket? It's an interesting one. Love to hear your thoughts down in the comments section. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.